The DVD has been made by an amateur photographer who is also a keen railway enthusiast. It has been prepared to the highest possible standards and has been evaluated by a number of other enthusiasts and by a local historian. The DVD begins by briefly looking at the geography and geology of South Wales in order to understand why the early railways were needed. Diagrams are used to illustrate the changes that have occurred to the rail network. The GWR map of the 1930s contrasts markedly with the rail network after the beaching closures of the mid-1960s. The reintroduction of rail services by 2015 has been remarkable. The first practical transport system was the Glamorganshire Canal from Merthyr to Cardiff, but dissatisfaction with this led to Trevethick's experiments with steam locomotives. The early railway network was developed by the Taff Vale Railway, with its headquarters at Cardiff Queen Street. Still images from the early 1960s are used to illustrate the pre-Beaching Railway. Present-day services in the valleys use a combination of classes 142, 143 and 150 DMUs. All the passenger services radiated from Cardiff are visited in turn. Class 121s were used in the valleys during the 1960s and from 2006 until 2013 one unit reappeared on the Cardiff Bay service. Peak hour services in the Rumney Valley for a while used Class 37 haulage. End of the line at Rumney. Cardiff Canton, DMU Servicing Depot. The Vale of Glamorgan line was reopened in 2005 and a free trial service ran for one day using Rumley Valley stock. Porth Kerry Viaduct on the Vale of Glamorgan line, one of the largest structures on valley lines. Empty coal hoppers leave Abathor reception sidings. Major changes could occur following the end of Arriva Trains Wales franchise in 2018.